been 10 days since a video. Let's do an update. eBay. Hello there. It's been a while. I've been busy. What a boring start to a video this is. It's like all those other reseller channels that are just like... Uh, too boring. But to be fair, I am knackered. Uh, I've spent two days at Manchester Punk Fest, hey, working. Um, I've got a little clip from it. I, oh, I'm gonna sneeze. <laughs> oh! Ew! Dude! What the fuck? What an awful video this is. Um, <laughs> yeah, have a little look at this clip from um, the Punk Festival. This is me. Helping someone in the pit. Okay, so the, the reason that we're making this video is a super short one. Um, I'm not going to go into detail about these things, but I've had a decent couple of days getting back to selling things on the eBay. Um, so I'm just going to run th uh, run over the, what, 15 things that have been sold-ish, uh, making me £300 in the last couple of days. Uh, what, this is basically like a what sells on eBay. Things that you can look out for to buy from charity shops, trade outlets, car boot sales, whatever, and try and flip them yourself on eBay, make yourself some money. So let's get started with this one. It's a Rowdy Roddy Piper collectible action figure. I actually picked this up from Home Bargains around the corner for less than a fiver, I think. I accepted an offer of 13 pound and a penny plus postage, uh, making 17 pounds total off this. Uh, if you're going into home bargains, B&M, the range, places like that, and they're doing reduced um, sort of action figures like this, or Funko Pops and stuff like that, keep an eye out for them and get some great deals um, like this one. And it's, it's fantastic to resell for collectors. Anything collectible like this, especially like this, but you can always get your phone out snap the barcode and compare it against other things that are sold on uh, on eBay like I did with this one. Um, so that has just sold. I've, it's, I've, it's not even been holding stock for that long. Maybe four or five weeks I've had this. Out it's gone, making a decent profit for me. Next up is the Despicable 3... No, it's not the Despicable Me 3 Unicorn, Lucky the Goat, uh, 11 inch. In fact, that's actually just here. There we go, it's actually ready to pack. Look at this little guy. Um, off to his new home. Um, six pound, free postage. I picked it up for a quid in a charity shop. This is Jello. Uh, it's imported American jelly, if you're into that sort of thing. Um, no fat jokes on this one. Even though it's so easy to do, but uh, we won't do that uh, because we don't. We're, we're learning from our mistakes. They're not mistakes, but uh, learning from our souls. Uh, anyway, <laughs> this is Jello. Did you know that Jello comes like this in powder form, and you like mix it in with water and then let it set? For those of you, if you're an American watching this and you don't know, Jello jelly that, that we have in Britain comes in like a thicker jelly-like substance that you put boiling water onto to make it dissolve, and then reef freeze it or re-solidify it in the fridge into a slightly diluted version of jelly. Um, so this jello, this grape flavoured jello that I have, um, I picked up at the trade outlet. Um, these are on their way out for, for yeah, 3 99 each plus postage. Uh, because it's imported food you can't kind of get it in the UK unless you go to one of these specialist shops that's charging an absolute fortune. Um, they were about two pound thirty each box of this jello um, so there there we go decent decent little um, mark up on that you know almost double uh, once eBay takes its fees and stuff off you're looking at about a pound profit on each box sold yeah it'll do this is the referee forum coin uh, for those of you who watch this backstitch channel or BZ resells 
Um, you may not know that I'm a football referee and I have my own line of merchandising and my, my own website, all to do with refereeing, my own podcast, all that, that fun stuff. What? We thought you was just a natural at this reselling, presenting stuff. Thank you very much. That's very kind of you. Um, but no, uh, I've been doing this sort of thing for a while um, and yeah, I've got my own merch. So uh, if you are watching... Maybe I'll bring out a BZ Resells uh, coin at some point, or a t-shirt or whatever. I've, I've actually already got like printed hoodies and stuff in the back there, with backstitch all over it. Um, but, but I'm not quite ready to commercialise on, on the back of the BZ Resells channel just yet. Soon, but not yet. Anyway, um, this has gone for £5 with free postage, uh, which pretty much doubles my... Uh, it doubles the ROI, which is alright. Last last few of these as well. Uh, I'm just onto my supplier in a not drug dealy sort of way um, to get more of these uh, made and shipped to me. So more of these on the way soon. I think yeah, this says there's five left available. Just five more of these coins. Goodness me, they're flying out. Good news. WWE baseball cap. I think I picked this up for like two or three pound in a charity shop, and it's uh, it's gone for six pound seventy nine plus four pound postage. Uh, so I'll box it, ship it, get it sent out. Uh, so that's a, a nice little profit on this one. If you've been paying attention to the channel, like a good subscriber, or if you're a first time viewer, you should be you should be sub subscribing to this at this point because the content is fire. Um, but anyway, uh, if you've been watching, you'll know that getting ink, even stuff that like the, this has been opened, give it a little shaky shake. It sounds liquid. That's good. It means you can list it as it sounds like it's got ink in it but the description does say and I'm pretty sure we've got it listed down here saying please know that these are customer returns however only the yellow cartridge shows any signs of use and all cartridges sound like they have ink in them when shaken so um, I've covered my bases I've been very honest with whoever's gonna buy this uh, of exactly what this ink is um, and for £26 it's a good good deal on that because I think I bought these for about £10-£11 something like that so it's a, a good a good doubler after eBay's taking its fees out. Just off the back of the last ink there's more ink um, is it the same kind of stuff yes yep yeah, same sort of stuff and again down in the description uh, please note these are customer returns and therefore listed as used however the magenta and black cartridges do not seem to show any signs of use but the cyan and yellow do again very honest with the description let them know exactly what they are um, and whoosh off they go uh, 14.99 i listed them for uh, so it's made me a very very slim profit um, but a profit nevertheless let's get that out there a four pack of Apple Air tags. I think what was this, what was the starting bid on this one? I know that they've they've clearly sold there for eighty two pounds, which is a good good deal because I picked them up for fifteen. Um, but what? Let's have a look at the bid bidding on this one. Oh, well, you can see all people's names and stuff. I'll have to edit this bit out. But yeah, okay. So there we go. Got me information now. Um, I can tell you that the I opened the bidding on this for 99 pence gets loads and loads of interest um, 21 bids all in all getting it up to 82 pounds. Uh, I think three no This is not the one um, I had a pack of four like this and three had not been used. Oh, I'm being shouted Of course I am Right, I'm back um, I actually had a McDonald's while I was away cool um, I think I was saying I bought um, four air tags like this, except um, three of them were brand new, completely untouched. Then that went for about seventy-five. Uh, so four used. I think this is a good deal. Anyway, good profits on this one when I paid fifteen pounds for them in the first place. Sold this Minecraft book. I picked it up for 20 pence in a charity shop. So five pound free postage. It's thin-ish, but second class, I think that's gonna cost maybe two pound, well, slightly less than two pounds a post. So a decent little couple of quid profit on that one. Not bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This, this one was a good one. I think each of these uh, pairs of memory cost me five pounds. Uh, as you can see there's five there, so £25 spent on these and I sold four um, what would I sell? I sold four for 60 quid 
and then the other one just went off by itself for, for 15. So each one of those getting 10 pound before eBay took its uh, fees. So again, they're decent little uh, profit on these ones. Oh, not this one. There we go. This is a Noctua um, computer cooling fan, CPU cooling fan, as you can see from the pictures there. It is in pretty much perfect condition, all still sealed in its box. Um, so someone's got themselves a great deal there, because for £35, I've listed it as used. There's no way I was putting this onto a rig to test it out. Um, so these things cost about 80, 90 quid brand new. Uh, this is in pretty much brand new condition, so someone's got themselves a fantastic deal there. That's going out um, 35 plus postage of four quid. So good, good for you. This one um, is uh, <laughs> why do I do this? It's a, a strap for your breast pump, not for your breast pump, but a breast pump. Um, if you remember one of the videos I gave Alara like 20 quid to go around the trade outlet and she picked up a few things This was one of the things she picked up and the question was you know could a three-year-old could a three-year-old turn a profit and uh, This was like a couple of quid at the trade outlet. So uh, for it to sell for eight quid plus postage Alara you're nailing it mate. You're taking after your dad. Um, so that's, that's well done um, so that's that's off to its <laughs> new home. And the last thing I need to go uh, pick and pack is another referee forum coin. So there we go. All in all, not uh, not a bad weekend there. I think it was just shy of three hundred pounds over the bank holiday weekend. Uh, we, we're at the end of Sunday evening now, so it's still bank holiday Monday to go. Maybe a few things will sell before I have to go out and post everything on Tuesday. Um, but yeah, just a quick catch-up video. Let's let's make myself full screen. Decent little weekend haul. Three hundred quid is always good. In fact, no, I'll, I'm just going to go back and let me show you the traffic because, as you know, or if you if you're a subscriber, you'll know. But recently, um, I lost my status as a, a, a what's it called? Like an above average rated seller, whatever it is, um, and I was below standard. For a, for a month, for an entire month, I want to show you how it affected my traffic and sales over that one month period because it was bad. But before we do that, can we take a moment to just appreciate how incredibly annoying this is? Every time I have to put in my password or pass key, I see I see this. Grow your business with the right funding, and then there's little gurning. <laughs> like, I've not got anything against this guy um, uh, personally, but he's just come to represent pushy corporate eBay trying to shill me their, their business loan. I don't want a business loan. If I wanted a business loan, I probably wouldn't get one direct from eBay. I'd go sourcing it uh, and getting the best deal as I do with all my things. So this this just really winds me up. I just wanted to share that with you before going into having a look at the metrics. So if you have a look uh, just down below here, you will see um, this very interesting impressions uh, section of the traffic. Um, half a million impressions over the last 28 days, I believe, or 30 days. What is it down for? Yeah, 30 days. 1st of March to the 31st of March. Um, you can see on the, the 1st of March, uh, I was already in this restricted below status thing, and I was getting my, like my my things were being shown, um, to the three thousand seven hundred twenty a day, four thousand, three thousand three hundred, three thousand two hundred. So you can see, barely any. As soon as uh, I was able to get on, I, I skipped. It was so so stupid. If I scroll down, no, you won't you won't see it here. I don't think. Um, it was so stupid. I went from below to a top rated seller in the space of the month where I was banned. I didn't do anything in that month. It was literally, I had one thing, what's it called, where you're a bad person, defect. One defect on my account, and it happened on like the 20th of a month, a year ago, um, and then I had another defect hit my account. 
So these these two defects meant that I couldn't do any advertising, I couldn't do any paid promotions or anything like that. So as you can see, for the first 20 days of March, I was barely getting 4,000 impressions per day. Um, and then as soon as I've been allowed to advertise again, you can see I've gone to almost 50,000. 50,000 impressions a day, and those 50,000 impressions um, resulted in 38, uh, sorry, 232 page views. And obviously, if there's a page view there, it's a prospective buyer. And my my uh, conversion rate is 4.3%. You can see directly below there, 4.3% is my average sales conversion rate, um, which means that 4.3% of all the traffic that goes on to a product page will buy the item, which yeah, it's not bad, it could be better, um, but I list with a lot of volume. So the quality of the listings that I put on there is not as probably good as it could be. Um, but hey, uh, when you, you, you hear a one man band, you're listing 300 odd things per month, it's 10 things a day, it doesn't sound like a lot, but you've also got to source it, you've got to ship, you've got to pick and pack and all that sort of stuff. So. Um, I'm, I'm happy with this at the moment because it generates about uh, one, once I'm back up running at full capacity able to advertise and everything like that uh, turnover of more than £3,000 gross per month uh, eBay will take about a third of that in postage and fees um, so that leaves the rest once I've taken away the cost of my products as you know my ROI can be anything from um, double to four, five, six times. It depends on the items. So uh, it's ticking over quite well. Quite well. Could be better. Um, especially after that tricky period between the, the 20th of February until the uh, 20th of March. But we're, we're back up and running now. We're at full capacity and things are flying out. So watch this space. Uh, if you're not already subscribed, please do so. Please like the video as well. If you've made it this far, it means a lot to me. Uh, and thanks very much. I'll see you on the next video. Hope this has been insightful for you. Bye.